Holding company or holding corporation? Why do we need it? How to use it to support the future growth of our business? And why do we usually see bigger, more developed and richer companies prefer to use holding structure to support their growth? Hi and welcome back, me again Eugene from CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services and today I'll try to answer and uh, provide more clarity to this question that is being asked frequently by our subscribers and clients as well. So before we start talking about holding corporation, let's talk about the classical corporation, the one that I always suggest people to operate their business under and the benefits that it brings. So if you remember we're talking about separating our personal assets from the liabilities and debts arising from business operations of our, of our businesses through establishing a separate legal entity which is a corporation. In many situations when our business grows and becomes more successful or we develop it uh, wider, we might even have this situation where we'll have multiple corporations operating on a parallel level. In each of them we might have uh, full or partial control and involvement as a shareholders, directors or officers. And here, logically, the idea would be the same. We would like to separate our personal assets from the uh, business operations of a corporation. So the benefits of the standard corporate structure would be, first of all, the uh, separation of personal assets from the liabilities of our business operations. Then we would, of course, get better tax planning opportunities, separating income from personal and to corporate and vice versa. And eventually, uh, it will allow us, of course, to distribute uh, in a different level uh, control, dividends and equity of a corporation among different partners involved in our operations. But this situation might change as our business grows and becomes more successful, it will generate its own assets. And as these assets grow, they will remain inside the liability structure of our business operations and as such being used to cover the liabilities and debts, future debts of our business operations. In this situation, the classical corporate structure will not solve certain drawbacks and actually will introduce new ones to our considerations. So first of all, uh, we cannot achieve a separation between the assets of a corporation from its own operations. Technically, it's the same legal entity and those assets might be used to cover the liabilities of the corporation. Additionally, uh, as the business grows and we have multiple companies inside our group that we control, it becomes more and more complicated to uh, follow up on, on our percentage in each company, who involves where and how to control it, especially uh, to our heirs or those who will come after us because they have less knowledge or might have less knowledge in all this structure. And eventually, as our business grows and needs more and more tax planning opportunities, having one corporation limits our tax plan planning opportunities, definitely not to the extent that we would like to enjoy. And that is why, at this situation, what we would like to create is a holding vertical corporation. Technically, the company that will come between us and our operating company and will act as a holding corporation. In this case, what will happen is that we will divide our personal assets from the operating liabilities of our business, but we will attach additional company where we would like to have it as a holding, and that's why it comes from the, the name holding company, the assets of the corporation. So eventually the result that we would like to achieve is the results where we have a holding company that holds the assets but is not engaged in the business operations of our structure and holds the shares of operating company. We will be holding only the shares of holding company. We might hold again here 100% or less, we can split it with our family members or some other partners. I would not suggest to split it with the partners engaged in operating the business. That should be done at the basic operational level. Holding company should be used for you and your family to hold all your business corporate assets operating on their own. In this case, just in the, as in the case with the multiple corporations, what we will gain is a separation of assets on both levels from the business operations of our corporations. We will take the assets and transition them again into the uh, holding corporation 
resulting in holding corporation ho holding the assets of all the companies and all the operating entities and eventually leasing, renting or providing the, those assets to each of the operating corporations on based on their requirement needs and types of business operations. Once again, protecting now those assets from the operations and the liabilities of our business entities on a corporate level. We are not here anymore in this structure. In addition to just protecting our assets from the liabilities, having multiple corporations operating through one company and then connected to us, it will add additional layer in our tax planning opportunities. So technically by transitioning different sources of income and revenues from one company to another, and by managing those incomes, it will be easier and more convenient for us to achieve the best taxable uh, result for us and our company. So now, how do we achieve that structure? What are the steps that we have to take in order to uh, get the best result? So first of all, let's identify the time to move. And we should remember, as I already said, the move is needed to protect the assets and allow us further and more extensive and developed planning for, from the tax, financial and legal uh, perspectives. So what we want to find is that point where our, our assets growing, they already become substantial, but they're not still large, too substantial to deal with. And on the other side, we want to do it before the liabilities attached to those assets. So somewhere halfway through where we see that the assets are there, liabilities are accumulating, but still not effectuating against those assets. Then we want to identify which assets to move. Sometimes we would want to move um, a plant that we purchase, premises, or equipment, or uh, intellectual property, which is intangible but still a very valuable asset, and I will have another video talking specifically about intellectual property of a corporation. Next step, we want to identify desired structure. So do we want to have one holding company or two holding companies? Do we want to hold all the assets as one pool in one hold, holding company or do we want to split between tangible and intangible assets or on different level of operational attachment of those assets? And eventually, of course, we want to execute the transition of our business into the corporate structure. And of course, how to make it right. Step number first, plan ahead. Look at your business from the very beginning, the moment you identify growth and development, start calculating, considering, preparing to the move. You don't have to do it immediately. It can take a, a year or two until you're ready to proceed. Step number two, get a proper tax advice. The movement of assets from one entity to another might result in taxable liabilities even without exchanging any funds or getting any profits. So you have to talk to a proper tax advisor, either accountant or lawyer that will calculate and plan the tax liabilities and make the steps to mitigate those liabilities. We don't want at this stage to pay taxes because we didn't get, gain anything except for the convenience and the support for future growth. And eventually, get a proper service for the transaction. You have to establish a new corporation, you have to plan, you have to issue new shares, you have to think what types of shares. And again, I will publish soon a new video about shares and how to use them to support our business growth. So these three steps, understanding of the structure, and hopefully soon you will have a holding corporation that will support your future growth and will continue to protect your assets from operating liabilities. Thank you for being with me today. Again, me, Eugene from CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services. And as usual, remember, subscribe, uh, leave your comments in the section below. General questions, you can leave them in the comments. If you have particular questions about your business, disclosing information, better go to our website and send me an email through contact us page or just an email to info at cbs.ca. And Thank you for being with me today. I'll come up with new topics, new subjects, and of course, each of you are welcome to uh, suggest their ideas for us to introduce.